Last thing, if you could describe Dylan, how would you describe <laughs> Dylan? He's a cool guy. Funny kid. Great kid, you know. I Snapchat him all the time. He's, he's hilarious. He's, he's a funny kid. Dylan Flynn is your average 16-year-old kid. He's learning to drive, has a part-time job, and loves social media. Pretty much just like any other young teenager. You know, he just gets up. <laughs> he goes to school. He doesn't do too much outside of school. He gets tired kind of easily. Dylan gets tired because he suffers from a disorder called neurofibromatosis. Commonly referred to as NF, this incurable illness causes tumors to grow on nerves throughout the body. In Dylan's case, he has tumors located in multiple areas of his body, including his abdomen, spine, and lungs. He hasn't done really too much um, since he's had the brain tumor. You know, he used to play basketball and I think he's a little bit hesitant right now. During the spring of 2012, Dylan was diagnosed with a brain tumor and forced to undergo a surgery which failed to successfully remove the tumor. But it was at that difficult time when the Flynn family stumbled upon a special gift, a gift that has not failed to keep giving. Dylan um, had had a, his brain tumor removed. Um, we're visiting Dana Fava and they just said, you know, Dylan's quite a, a shy young man and we have a, a great program for him that we think he'd really like. They asked Dylan um, if he'd be interested in joining Team Impact and it told him that it provides support, it matches up children, teenagers with um, life-threatening illnesses with college teams. And so they contacted us and said they had spoken with Sean, um, one of the assistant coaches, and said it was a good, you know, I'll go. He came, I think, to like a practice initially, and he was just kind of in awestruck, I think, because he came, and then I get a text from him, hey, when's the next game? Then it was, hey, I'm coming to practice. Dylan joined the Boston University men's basketball team in the fall of 2012. His involvement with the squad includes practices, sitting on the bench for home games, and even his own official BU jersey. Every time I see him, I just try to say hi to him, ask him how he's doing, uh, ask him how's, how, how's everything going, you know. Uh, whenever I came out of games, just bumping him and just talking to him on the bench, probably not the most focused thing to do during a game, but he definitely knows that he can mess around with us, which is pretty cool. And it wasn't long after that people started to really notice the influence this matchup was having on the teenager. Seen a huge change in Dylan. He has um, a much better outlook. He seems connected to something he wasn't really connected to much besides his family before. It's just made a, a positive impact in his daily life. You know, he's a happier young man because of it. You could see the effect it had on him. I think he just needed a sense of belonging or a different uh, outlet for dealing with some of the issues he's had to deal with. And Coach Morris is right. That team connection is something that even Dylan has recognized. It's, it's a good reaction, like a lot of like teamwork, just getting to like get to know the players and all and being at the games and supporting it. They're, they're all nice. They're really welcoming. But according to the team, the positive impact this special relationship has had on Dylan and his family is mutual. And we thought it would be just beneficial for our guys to, to get to know someone that was, was going through um, something so tough. Um, and I thought, I think it's really added a lot to, to our family atmosphere and dealing this family is such a big part of, such a big part of us. Um, it's been great for everyone involved. With our guys, we're always trying to talk about certain life lessons, not just basketball. And this is certainly an experience that I think we can learn more from Dylan than Dylan gets from us at certain times. Just having him around really makes us uh, just not focus on the bad things. Just makes you appreciate what you're doing and that you can affect other people's lives and stuff, so. Although the number of special moments between Dylan and the BU basketball team are equally memorable, there was one day that seemed to specifically stand out amongst the rest. We do this walk every year. Um, for NF, it's called Steps to Cure NF. And it's in October, the whole team 
showed up in their track uniform for the walk. I mean, who does that? The whole team and the coaches. The whole NF organization was just um, blown away. So it was just, you know. We wanted to just really be there for support for them because, you know, they've been through a lot as a family and Dylan's certainly been through a lot with the disease that he has. I remember just walking around with him, just talking about how he's been, how school and everything like that. I mean, it was, it was just a fun time. I think the best part was when his mom got up and talked. Like, you could just see, like, just how much she cared and how thankful she was that we were there. Dylan's strength and courage is nothing short of admirable. For BU basketball, Dylan is teaching the players lessons not even the coaches can teach. He's very determined. You know, he's determined to make the most of what he was given. He's just a really great kid. And the, just the way he carries himself, his spirit, um, you know, you would have, you, we would never know that he's going through um, the things that he's going through. And I think those are the invaluable lessons that you can, you can teach. When he speaks to us, it's just like a, it's like a blessing in disguise. It just reminds us how blessed we are as individuals to be in a situation that we're in. And just to see him just fight through his situation every day is just a, it's some, it's some nice, it's inspirational thing to look at. Dylan's relationship with the BU basketball team is an example of athletes changing the game, making sports about something bigger, making someone a part of something bigger. BU is his passion now, his, um, his BU teammates, uh, family. <laughs> because he, he's a part of the team, you know, that's, that's what we call each other, we call each other's bros. So he, 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 he's a part of the team, so I mean, that's what it is. It's stories like these which remind us that sometimes when you give, you can get a lot more in return. Something that is more rewarding than any kind of win.